सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री एंड इन यू एच वी थ्री वी हैव डन अप टू लेक्चर नाइन एंड इन द प्रैक्टिस सेशन एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ वी केम अप टू स्टेप सिक्स सो जस्ट टू रिकैप द स्टेप्स फॉर यू इन द स्टेप वन वी वर ऑब्जर्विंग द इमेजिनेशन पर्टिकुलरली द फीलिंग एट एनी गिवन मोमेंट in step 2 we were asking if the feeling that we were having at that moment was it naturally acceptable to me or not did i want its continuity or not in step 3 we were asking the question whether the feeling that i was having at that moment was i comfortable with that feeling was i happy with that feeling was i in harmony with that feeling or was i uncomfortable unhappy with that feeling and in step 4 we ask the question who is deciding this feeling that i am having at this moment which is deciding my happiness and unhappiness and we found that it is i who am deciding the feeling that i am having at any moment so essentially i am deciding my happiness or unhappiness at any moment and every moment so then in step 5 we ask the question since i am deciding my feeling and it's causing me happiness or unhappiness what is the basis on which i am deciding this feeling is it based on right understanding or is it based on an assumption without right understanding and we found that if it is based on right understanding that feeling can be definite can be continuous can lead to happiness if it is based on assumption or a lack of understanding assumption without understanding then it's not clear whether it will lead to happiness or unhappiness if the assumption is in line with understanding in line with natural acceptance it may lead to happiness but if it is not in line it may lead to unhappiness and if the assumption changes again the feeling will change so whether it will lead to happiness or unhappiness that was not clear so having discussed all that then we came to step 6 that since you know i need to understand on the basis of right understanding until i have that at least i should be able to see what is naturally acceptable to me and have that feeling which is naturally acceptable to me so we ask this question which is the feeling that is naturally acceptable to me and we said that it is the feelings of relationship the feelings of harmony the feeling of coexistence these are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to me these are the feelings that we want the continuity of so next slide so this means that if i want to have these kind of feelings then i need to ensure this right understanding in myself what understanding the understanding of relationship of harmony of coexistence only if i understand then can i have the feeling and how do i do that i essentially have to contemplate on the relationship on my participation i need to understand the harmony the self organization and i need to realize the coexistence in other words i have to awaken to these higher activities within myself next slide yeah this is just a diagrammatic representation of the same thing in the lower left block we said this is a self without awakening a self that is not evolved to the higher activities and so is largely functioning on inputs from outside from preconditionings past experiences and so on sensation and such like largely and so the feeling is being decided by of course it's decided by me but it is being influenced by or impacted by the outside because nothing is there to guide it from inside nothing is there means i am not able to see this from inside but as i awaken to the higher activities which is in the right upper block i mean right upper diagram there you can see the uh, higher activities in the form of that purple color so these are there in the cell these are i have awakened to them i have been able to take guidance from here and then one can all the feelings the thoughts the expectations they come in line 
according to these these become the motivation for all my desires my thoughts my expectations rather than the outside so this is where we want to reach so that we can have the feelings of relationship of harmony and coexistence all the time next slide these were just some examples that we gave next slide so yesterday this is the assignment we gave for self reflection that we have to check whether we are having the feeling of relationship for every other person at all time ask yourself if you have a feeling of relationship for others what sort of thought will you be having about others what will your behavior be like with others and to contemplate on this feeling of relationship so if anybody would like to share their observations their thoughts on this their reflections on relationship we can discuss it yeah namaste didi namaste mm-hmm. sabhi ko uh, yes didi i was just going through the assignment and i could see that we say that we are in a you know this is my family and this is so and so is my friend but this thing it is there that if we other is you know not as per my thinking or you know, my way as it is written here also if the other is uh, not taking things my way or so we go in opposition even with the family members and this because they are closely related so we we have a soft corner or what so we just ignore people who are close to us but those who are not closely related so we tend to nurture grudges then this mm-hmm. is why what i observed that earlier i used to you know only on the basis of one incident you know, i used to make okay this person is like this <laughs> just on the basis of one interaction in one interaction if there was a discussion and the other was not you know discussing in the same direction mm-hmm. and then i used to think that okay this person is is not my type but now i can see that everybody is having having his or her own opinion and their own sanskar so everybody is behaving as per their own sanskar as per their own thinking what they think so it is only when this natural acceptance is there where with when i interact with one of my colleagues who is also you know doing the cuhv 1 2 and 3 with me so i can see a difference you know that she understands and there are three or four people also more also who are you know very understanding they have this natural acceptance somewhere in them that the relationship with such people is quite harmonious so we la- it, so i think that there is lack of right understanding in many of us including myself only yes. though i am changing a lot mm-hmm. but yes uh, my behavior uh, now it is not that much dependent on assumptions because uh, now i am more aware mm-hmm. earlier when i when we started this uhv3 uh, you know, i had to you know, set aside you know i had uh, set times that okay i now i will think about my thoughts now i will observe myself but now as time is passing i am seeing i am observing that i am aware you know, more and more times i am aware of whatever is going on inside based on whatever is happening outside so yeah. this is just uh, i wanted to share yeah. right certainly we all have a need for right understanding and we yes. all have the potential because we all have the natural acceptance it is just about referring to it yes and paying attention inside yeah and i don't know whether other people are also like me but uh, i used to do it like you know i said that i used to make a judgment about people only after one or two interactions without even knowing them yeah very often we yeah. do that because we base it on opinion isn't it if somebody is not having the same opinion as me then i think of them as different from me yes yes but actually it's just another opinion even my opinion may change tomorrow isn't it yes yes 
read something in the paper and I decide something. I have a certain opinion about. Tomorrow I read a new article. Now my opinion changes, but that I don't question because throughout I can see my intention is true. But same thing happens to the other person. Now it's a different story. I think of them. I know I start judging. I start forming opinions, and then with that opinion, like you mentioned, you have a grudge. Now that grudge is sitting inside you. That feeling of opposition is there. So the next time we meet, even if it is months later or weeks later, the moment I even think of that person or see that person, immediately I again get that feeling of opposition within me, active, because I have assumed something about that person, and without realizing what I have assumed. Without paying attention to my assumptions, I go ahead with that feeling, and of course, it will reflect in my behavior. So my conduct is very indefinite. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now I am. May I say one one thing more, Didi? May I share one thing also? Hello. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. So earlier, I used to think that why there are groups. Groupism is there, you know. People of same kind. They are there are groups in mm -hmm. the society, in the colleges, schools. Now I am able to see that okay, these are the groups who are having the same type of opinions, and there is nothing about relationship. It's mm -hmm. only that you know, their opinions they are you know matching. Their opinions are matching. They think alike. That's it. But earlier, I used to think that okay, these people are closely related. Na? They they have the same type of understanding. But now I could see this lack of understanding. So if suppose if I am in one group and there are two groups, so the lack of understanding is there in my group as well as the other group because there are two two groups. Had there been right understanding, there would no be. They they would all be you know in one one group only. No groupism in the institutes and the, at different places there is there is groupism. Yeah, true. In fact, if we see, you know, it is our assumptions that make us draw boundaries. Yes, yes. This class of people is like this. This section of the community is like that. Yes. This color skin people have such and such characteristics. We keep labeling and doing things like this, judging people based on what they look like, what kind of clothes they wear, how they talk, what their opinions are like, and we are doing this all the time without really being aware of it. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, is it really the truth? Is it reality? No. Then we have, you know, boundaries that we draw based on country. Oh, such. And such thing is, uh, you know, prominent outside, but not in our country. Is it so? <laughs> so we have many assumptions. Yes, yes. Whatever we can relate to, we have a different, you know, behavior with them because of our assumption. Whatever we find different from our opinion, we don't see our relationship, and we. Have a different opinion, different behavior, and this also keeps changing. Even for those that we feel the relatedness, it's not there in continuity. Like you said, for your loved one at home. Yes, yes. So in the relationship also, you find there are times when the child doesn't obey, you get into a feeling of opposition. Again, assumption is working. This is my child. My child should obey. Yes. He or she is younger to me. They can't talk to me like this. All these assumptions play up, and they are driving my feeling. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Devi. Thank you. Namaskar, madam. Namaskar all. So when I have been observing uh, in the process of uh, observing the feeling. in addition to other imaginations especially what you stressed upon feeling uh, and whether it is acceptable uh, naturally acceptable or not uh, and am i comfortable with it or not in that process when i come to the step 6 of right understanding 
i observed uh, the relationship uh, harmony and uh, coexistence so in that uh, process when i observed the relationship with my family members i observed a lot uh, because having um, maybe with the preconditioning or uh, the assumptions and uh, due to the close associate uh, uh, association with my family from the beginning uh, even uh, what i observed so when my children and my wife and uh, all when they do their work and helping yeah i have a strong relationship that is okay because of because they are helping but when my son says something and uh, not listening to me then also i observed yes there is a relation i should not uh, uh, have some grudge upon him because he has not listened to me not like that maybe his uh, uh, competence level may be less or my competence level may be less because i'm expecting uh, uh, what i uh, expecting him to do what i uh, say so yes there is relation i have to love him so like that actually before uh, uh uh also i have been trying uh, keeping in view that i have to love all but now everybody's natural acceptance is same that's why in that way i am uh, uh, changing because that is fact everybody's natural acceptance is same so why should i uh, have grudge upon him yes let me love him love him so regarding relationship i observed uh, that uh in my family when it comes to the others other than my family previously uh, suppose if anybody uh, did not accept what i uh, say uh in some occasions i should not uh, and i need i may not uh, explain it here now in this short time uh, even though a person who, who did not uh, do what i said in my department also in my college when he come ac- comes across uh i try to love him i try to have relation with him by force only because as a practice then it improves this we are trying to do all this by thoughts thoughts only madam thoughts only so that will not work mm mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm, mm that's mm-hmm. not enough but uh, what i feel uh, that is improving me in myself previously i was but unable to be with them now i am able to be with them see you don't have to control you don't have to try to then how can we improve with effort only na effort only but i have to do this i have to do that if you tell yourself tomorrow somebody mm-hmm. else says something again you will say you know tomorrow mm-hmm. somebody says you know they'll they'll uh, take advantage of you you should not allow this now you will change your behavior based on that No, Isn't it? no, 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 madam. Whatever they do, whatever they do. But um, I myself is to improve the relation. That is my opinion. Because mm-hmm. uh, due to my some scars, I may not uh, continue, or I may not have good relation upon him. But uh, I. Yeah, but the some scar is the one that is driving your feeling. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Now, because if you that's... have that some scar sitting in you, mm-hmm. it will drive your feeling. The moment you are not aware, again, same thing will happen. yeah yeah so i should uh, naturally have it you mean na? the process is see mm-hmm. you have to look at your own feeling mm-hmm. if you just tell yourself no no i must do this i must do that i must mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. i should not, not do going to work okay what you have to do is to directly observe your feeling at that time what mm-hmm. is my feeling now mm-hmm. so if Then, i have a feeling of opposition Mm-hmm. Initially, you can ask yourself, mm. "Why do I have feeling of opposition?" Okay, mm-hmm. that may give some hint to what is behind that. Mm-hmm. Why you have that feeling? Mm-hmm. 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 But again, this is analyzing, okay. analysis, thought. This external is, things. Okay, okay. These not external things. This is also within you. Mm-hmm. These are activities within you. Your thoughts yeah. are within you. yeah yeah but they are at a lower level than the feeling okay so they cannot change your feeling for mm. long term mm-hmm. it can work temporarily okay but the feeling is the one that dominates yeah Whatever not the sure. feeling is the thoughts start running in that direction uh, but for so right uh, now, mm. help you to change your feeling momentarily mm-hmm. okay 
but the moment you are not aware again if mm, yeah. the sanskar is sitting there that sanskar will drive your feeling no definitely madam and that, that feeling will drive the thought yeah yeah. The yeah yeah that also i have been observing ah. again it is continuing like that not with that person but as a whole uh the feeling of relationship feeling of harmony and feeling of coexistence uh, is uh, improving by this what i have observed may not be due to this may not be what you have just told uh, may not be due to this effort uh, may be due to the reference to natural acceptance may be what you have just told yeah it see we have to make the effort now Mm-hmm. Effort in which way, madam? Uh, referring always you to, have to pay natural acceptance. Attention to your own feeling. You have yeah, to check uh-huh. the feeling. Don't uh-huh. just go by thoughts. Okay, we are checking. Then That's next, the next, madam. If you look at your feeling, mm-hmm. and you know what is naturally acceptable, is my feeling in line with natural acceptance or not? Mm-hmm. Not that I have to do this. I have to. Yeah. Do oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. What is my feeling now? Mm-hmm. What is naturally acceptable to me? Is it? Mm-hmm. in line with that or not in line mm-hmm. if it is not in line you will be able to see that you are uncomfortable mm-hmm. yeah yeah and yourself will not want to be in that state mm-hmm. you want to come out of it okay yeah. so, so we'll try to have the feeling that is naturally acceptable mm-hmm. that effort we have to make mm-hmm. and in that process we'll be able to see the sanskar also mm-hmm. right So initially that, uh, we can try to logically through analysis try to see the feeling try to see why we are getting the feeling all that may be helpful to begin with mm-hmm. but ultimately if we want to be in happiness in continuity we have to directly see it ourselves mm-hmm. and that process will slowly unfold with this effort only mm-hmm. no so the effort that you are making is fine mm-hmm. but rather than focus only on the thoughts the focus mm-hmm. should be on the feeling mm-hmm. yeah in the thoughts i keep telling myself i should do this i must do this i have to do this mm-hmm. that will not work for okay. long term okay but actually in my life madam my experience uh, i have observed a difference due to that effort also uh, for a very long time previously i was unable to Uh, have relation with the people who are in opposition to me but mm. how can i improve like this uh, i thought previously with mm. this type of effort i have been improving a lot in relation oh. also and so uh, that also but, but uh, now i am adding this also what you have just told uh, referring to natural acceptance uh, and whether it is in line with it or not uh, that also i am doing that also i am doing Nice. so i will change uh, and i will concentrate more on this and i am trying I, i shall try and regarding uh, harmony madam when i was observing yesterday na uh, in my in our grounds college grounds many cows are having their grass taking their grass so i felt how uh, naturally self organized all these creatures and animals and all these things because we don't take uh, grass they take uh, how it is designed they are uh, self organized to uh, have, uh, have that grass uh, and they are doing doing their job uh, uh, like that i felt uh, so, if you try to feed any cow anything you know in your uh-huh. head to give it something uh-huh. what does it do it first smells it oh oh yeah 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 doesn't just take it in okay madam the grass also there are poisonous plants here and there it doesn't ah, take poison it okay, only eats okay. that particular type of grass okay okay madam you see so it is additional skill organization within it's not like a skill that ah oh, self organization yeah yeah self organization but it is just the animal is so designed yeah that yeah that yeah Uh, why I'm uh, adding the skill? Uh, I don't know the uh, what term I have to use. Suppose if uh, any new uh, root come across, madam, many turnings the that this new places, uh, even if uh, they are taken, they are able to come back. But even mm-hmm. we human beings, we confuse <laughs> even for mm-hmm. small turnings and all. So that is the uh, thing uh, what I feel generally given by God because they have to search for the grass for different. Uh, they have to go to jungle or uh, like that. That's why I feel. that is i have listened a uh, vishesh jnana for them 
uh, even then we don't have uh, okay maybe they are uh, self organized like that i thought like that madam yeah and regarding existence also uh, so how all are uh, 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 happening uh, by themselves uh, uh, irrespective of our intervention so we are part of that uh, so we have to do our job we are uh, uh, existing uh, uh, in this coexistence only like that i thought madam yesterday this is my yeah. This uh, one actually. So to begin with, Haan, we madam. are doing this by thought. Yeah, Ultimately, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, we have to directly experience the feeling of relationship. Directly mm -hmm. experience the feeling of harmony within us. Mm -hmm. Directly experience the feeling of coexistence within us. Mm -hmm. So that will take time as yeah. we slowly develop. You know, we start with the natural acceptance mm -hmm. rather than thoughts. I have to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. madam. Yeah, refer yeah. to your natural acceptance. The more you refer to your natural acceptance, the sooner we will awaken to the higher activities. If we don't refer to the natural acceptance and we just go with the thought, mm -hmm. then, you know, feeling is more subtle than thought. Sanskar is more subtle than feeling. We will mm -hmm. not be able to see all those. Okay. So, ultimately, the, the thing is to directly observe it to mm -hmm. be able to know it within you. Yeah, yeah, madam. So we keep saying, you know, feeling of relationship leads to happiness within. Yeah, but yeah. if I don't experience that happiness, what good is it for me? It's just information, no? So it yeah, really, happen. really, really. So that's why ultimately we have to directly experience it. Yeah, yeah. That's good. We are waiting, madam. <laughs> Actually, no, no waiting yet. Keep making effort. <laughs> effort, effort, effort. By <laughs> really, madam, that direct perception without the need of uh, any external thing. Yes. Yeah, good, madam. Actually, we are uh, waiting with effort. Thank you, yes. madam. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Priya ji. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, John. Didi, what I could observe like Nituji was telling with the closed one she was feeling not that more opposition I was observing Didi for me the reverse thing happens mm -hmm. uh, with the closed ones I feel uh, uh, more like no uh, I uh, sometimes complain uh, then I observe my feeling uh, because I think my expectations are more with them yesterday I was observing my colleague also she was also arguing with uh, HR. So I was standing over there and HR told me to wait, don't go. Uh, but the way she was arguing, I didn't, uh, it, uh, the, it was not good. But still, I didn't feel that I was observing my feeling. I didn't tell anything. Um, I could then observe the feeling towards her. She's in my she's a very junior colleague. I could feel that she, since she's so junior, uh, she has just joined. So that immaturity she has. But uh, when I came home, uh, my mate told that one of our close relatives had come. My husband's cousin came from Baroda with the family and my uh, son is working uh, at home. Uh, but she called her through the ring, but he didn't come down. Uh, then she told me, then I felt like, oh my God, they came from such a long and uh, he didn't come down. So when I met him, I asked him, uh, like no, I was feeling very bad and I asked him why you didn't come down, like in a little anger this thing. Uh, then he told, I didn't know who had come. I was working busy. Meetings were going on like that. So I was feeling uh, for me, uh, see, this, both my son and the colleague, they were of the same age. But uh, how I responded to the situation was two different things. So I think my expectations, even with my husband also, I could see many times, even now after doing the exercise third time also, uh, when I, uh, I observe my feeling when the, conversation turns into a little uh, uh, like no in a reaction mode or what is my feeling I could observe that now I have the opposition feeling the feeling is like no um, it's uh, like in the reaction mode that's why I'm reacting yesterday also when he told something uh, through the phone I I didn't tell back then I observed my feeling uh, then I was like no just uh, smiling uh, so I could see Sometimes that feeling of relationship comes. Sometimes that feeling of opposition comes with the close ones. Don't say come. Say I have. I have, Didi. But I don't know that uh, constantly. Uh, I I am not able to uh, like no. Uh, I I am not able to bring that feeling of relationship all the time. 
yeah that is true for most of us if you see see we are with the family we also have more expectations we also have all that baggage from the past which we are carrying because of which we already have some assumptions about that person isn't it yeah i mean every one of us has been living with our spouses for so many years and in the past many mistakes have been made from our side and from their side isn't it in our behavior and so on now for ourselves we can see our intention for the other lot of times we don't pay attention to the intention part we look at the behavior okay. and we make some judgment and based on that you know that assumption carries through with that assumption comes the feeling so when we are not aware the assumption takes takes charge and drives the feeling can you see that this is this yeah so this is what is happening and when it comes to the outside other people nothing much may be at stake there you are not responsible for the other person shouting at somebody third person isn't it you don't see your you don't see it as your responsibility so you are able to not be so disturbed by it but when it comes to somebody who you are close to or you know that they also have some expectation from you and what they must be thinking about you all these assumptions must be playing out so now there is more at stake where i am concerned these are my immediate people and look this did not happen we did not take care of them we did not so see all these assumptions are driving the feeling and because the person who was there didn't do it or didn't see it we get inclined to judge him based on you know what we would have done he should also have done can you see the yes so now more things are at stake when it is your family isn't it this is so they got to understand really many pi here has shared since it's a close ones uh, they uh, like no they don't take that much in the heart but for me i was observing with the close ones so because we do a lot of things for them mhm uh, so we I do a lot of things but sometimes we do them with opposition also <laughs> with the close ones if they tell something no i was observing my uh, sister in law came uh, in the home so she told something i was like i had thoughts when like no i'm doing so much for the home <laughs> by she's only thinking about the negative things yeah like no it went through my mind and then it went off uh, but uh, i was observing whether i was having a feeling like that time i observed you no know, i went into opposition but later on uh, like uh, usually i don't go that opposition feeling i used to when i sit and observe uh, i could see that uh, i have a relationship that feeling is there uh, but uh, when the actual situation sometimes comes then like no um, uh, even though i didn't react to her but in my thought process it went outside yeah. i didn't react but the reaction happened inside so i yeah. was observing with the close ones i am getting uh, that you uh, know uh, uh, i am little sensitive i feel that should come out because many have told since they it is a close ones they uh, like they don't feel much but i am uh, when i was no, observing no, 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 with the no. close wait 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 you know what you are saying is very much true of many people because when you are working with your close ones that is where you have the maximum expectation and when your expectation is not met and you are not aware you become unhappy plus all that past baggage your association with that person in your family has been there for many years and all the past comes into play makes you have some assumption about that person 
and that drives your feeling unless you are very aware so this point that our natural acceptance doesn't change even if the other person's behavior changes but i have to refer to it if i don't refer to it then again i go back to the past experience and the behavior and all of that and that is leading to my assumptions and those assumptions are driving my feeling when i am not aware but even there if i refer to the natural acceptance i will see that you know this is what is naturally acceptable to me let me you know that is my part let me have the right feeling now when i have the right feeling i will notice that i am calm and with that calm now i can deal with the situation outside also better so the two must be kept separate at least for our assessment isn't it yes was it audible to you yeah 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 did it yeah. got it okay okay thank you did um we have very little time to keep going with the observations one last one we'll take jagdish ji then we'll come back to this after doing some more of the content yes ji namaste ji namaste ji namaste to everyone i just have a small bit of observation in terms of why all of this is formed and how to overcome that as balaji was talking about and the other ji was also talking The if you have, question, have let's hear it no, if you i have it yeah it is a question no no i'm yeah. just warming a base of the question not, nothing more than that the the first level is i i'm not having much expectation on myself but i'm having more expectations on the related ones for whom i have put in lot of effort and i am having lesser expectations than uh, to the outside people whom i'm not related with now this is the base of the question now where am i trying to have an expectation is the question coming from and i do not have intention of harming anyone but unknowingly i do it because i have the understanding of whatever i see through the behavior only i would not have any understanding about the intentions of another person even when they are potentially equal to me also so so the expectations is something different because of the behavior and the understanding of the behavior and the intentions are internal but i do not find the intentions of the other person while they are doing it because of which the expectations vary so the question is the intention is an internal feeling and the expectation is the behavior which is to be understood wait 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 wait, wait. intention is not a feeling your intention is your natural acceptance it's not so a i feeling. just want to ask the difference what is the difference between the feeling and intention because if the potential is the same which is of the intention which is where it is ex- ex- exhibited through a behavior now these are three different words so you have a potential by which you intentionally frame something through which yes. the behavior exhibits it sunil ji can you display the slide with the two charts can we go back to the slide with the diagram the charts when you say feeling okay mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. if you look at the b2 block look at the upper diagram right look at the b2 block where it says imaging that's where you have your feeling the activity of desire is what is associated with the feeling okay 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 when you are saying natural acceptance you are referring to the point of the highest activity in the self which is realization from there you are referring when you say intention and that is similar in all that natural acceptance is similar in all so if i can see my natural acceptance i can see the others natural acceptance but we don't do that we see our intention our intention is pure others intention i don't know how do i know but if your natural acceptance is for this the others is also the same this is what the feeling of trust is all about isn't it but now where do i see now, this oh, wait right now what you are doing is you are basing your feeling on the others behavior so that's what but we see is what i'm saying lack of understanding 
it is what is expressed outside that doesn't mean his natural acceptance is not right his natural acceptance is also there he is not referring to it can you see the difference so the intention is pure intention is not a problem it is the competence that is lacking but we so when you are saying natural acceptance where you are I'm, i'm sorry didi where are you referring to uh, natural acceptance is it realization or is it understanding where are you referring it to the point of natural acceptance is at the activity of realization but we have not reached there right we okay. are we are unaware of these higher activities whether it be contemplation understanding realization we may not have awakened to any of these okay. yet we have the glimpse of how things are from the point of realization from there we are taking the guidance that is the point of natural acceptance but it is veiled it is in a veiled form we haven't been able to directly see it but yet a glimpse is there could you but give me an example if you don't mind what is that could you give an example to clear it yeah like we keep asking you know what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of harmony no, no. ha huh. give an example of natural acceptance intention and feeling these three words that could make a a strong impact so on the way you let me finish so my natural Please. acceptance is for feeling of relationship okay, okay. my natural okay. acceptance is for relationship okay if i ask myself you know i would like to be uh, you know with a feeling of relationship for all right it's a different matter that i don't have it right now right yeah so that choice i am making what kind of feeling i have that is up to me at this right. moment i may have feeling of relationship at another moment i may have a different feeling right i am basing this feeling on what i am seeing outside when the other behavior is according to me i have feeling of relationship when the other's behavior is something that is not appropriate for me i have feeling of opposition that choice i am making but my right. natural acceptance is always the same that doesn't change can you see that it's, it's hard to really understand didi uh, i'm not trying to you make it up here it, you reflect on it you listen to the recordings these recordings will be available to you okay just uh, you know rewind so a small example uh, not an explanation an example where it makes some understanding uh, because Uh, understanding is a little lower than that, but you are talking about something higher than that. Natural acceptance, is... yeah. See, whatever example I give, it will re- relate to some incident. This is what you want, but the incident is talking about the behavior, isn't it? Right, which is the yes, feeling yes, yes. and the natural acceptance that you have to refer to yourself. How else can I say? It should be universal. You know, you are referring to your natural acceptance when it is universal. and it is leading to happiness for all if it is so there could be an example which is also a same thing uh, in my opinion uh, because it has it isn't to be an incidental one feeling if it is universal of feeling of relationship gives me happiness how is it going to help you understand unless you can experience that yourself can you see what i am saying fair enough yeah so that's why just reflect on this and go through the recordings listen to this a couple more times try to observe it in yourself that is the only way really because the words will always fall short the examples will fall short if we have misunderstood intention after so many workshops that means somewhere we are not observing within ourselves no so try to reflect on this contemplate on it we can come back to it another time okay thank you mm-hmm. yes if we can go to step 7 let's go to step 7 yeah 
okay so now in step 6 we said that what is naturally acceptable to us is the feeling of relationship is the feeling of harmony is the feeling of coexistence and this we can we asked ourselves and this is the answer we got this is what is naturally acceptable to us and this natural acceptance never changes remember we said it is the same at all time at all places regardless of any situation outside day or night you know nothing where which place i am in all of that doesn't matter it is always the same but when somebody when we interact with somebody when we have somebody's behavior which is different from my assumption of how it should be like for instance when my child doesn't obey me now i start thinking their intention is wrong they intentionally misbehaved nobody wants to make you unhappy nobody wants to intentionally harm the other person they want to do right their natural acceptance is similar to mine but right now their feeling may not be in line just as my feeling is not in line with my natural acceptance that choice they are free to make just as i am making freely but in the process whenever my feeling is not in line with my natural acceptance i am becoming unhappy and i think the cause is outside and i think the cause is the children or the person who misbehaved in fact if you directly observe you will notice this that this feeling that you are harboring inside this is the cause of your unhappiness and the moment you have the right feeling you also experience the calm the happiness that's when you really know for sure that's when you realize it is not that person outside that a person's outside behavior didn't change at all but i could be happy regardless of that so if i can do it now i can do it at any time this is what step 7 a is all about or step 7 is all about so in step 7 a what we are saying is we want to ensure at least at this moment that i have a feeling of relationship not the feeling of opposition i have a feeling of harmony not the feeling of disarm i have a feeling of coexistence not the feeling of struggle now i have to ensure this or i want to ensure this is because i have seen that this is what is naturally acceptable to me but when this somebody else's behavior which i do not appreciate when that comes before me am i able to recall this no because i am not paying attention inside when that behavior actually is happening if i ask myself this question what is naturally acceptable to me and at that moment if i can try to have a feeling of relationship for that person instead of opposition you will experience that calm you will notice that you are happy nothing has changed outside everything outside is the same only thing that has changed is your experience of the event now you can experience the calm so if i can ensure this at this moment and i can find that i am in a state of harmony i am in a state of happiness within at this moment then what is stopping me from doing it the next moment if i can do it at this moment i should be able to do it the next moment and the next and the next so certainly i can be in this state all the time this is this potential is there in each and every one of us so i can ensure this kind of feeling because it's my choice i am deciding 
all this we came through. So I can be in a state of harmony and happiness within at every moment. I can be in a state of continuous happiness. So this is what we are saying in step 7. Next slide. So 7b, as I am able to understand relationship, harmony and coexistence, then I am able to decide in favor of the right feeling in a very natural manner and be in harmony, in happiness within. But right now the problem is I have not awakened to the higher activities. I am not able to see this directly. Therefore, my assumptions are what are driving my feelings. So I have assumed something about the other. Like in this previous example that Jagdishri was sharing, I have assumed that they intentionally don't want to do such and such thing. Intention is not the problem at all. Intention is natural acceptance. Just like my natural acceptance is to make the other happy, the other's natural acceptance is all this the same, also the same. And if we don't believe it, we can ask them. We will get the same opinion from them. That will at least tell us that their natural acceptance is similar to mine. Yet, they make the wrong choices or they have feelings sometimes that are not in line. I also do that very often. But I say, I don't intend to do. This is not, you know, that same example that we keep taking interest. A glass breaks from my hand, I say, it broke. It, same thing happens with the other, I say, they broke the glass. Why? Because I think their intention only is a problem. So I have to look closer and see that the intention is the same for all. We can ask them. Those eight questions of trust, one of the assignments is go back home and talk to each member of your family and do those eight questions. You will find that everybody has the same intention as you. It's just the competence part that is lacking. So if competence is lacking, what's the answer? Help the other build the competence. And of course, I have to build my competence because I was doubting the intention in the first place. So my competence is also lacking, isn't it? And that's not something that is derogatory. It's not to say that, you know, I am, I have failed or something. That's where we all start from. That's baseline. We have been looking outside for so long. That is what is driving our feelings. So now at least we are paying attention inside. We are able to see something. But again, don't do it just by words. Try to directly see the feeling within you. Try to directly experience the calm, the discomfort, so that you can see it for yourself. Otherwise, the words don't mean anything. If I keep saying it leads to happiness, leads to happiness, but I don't feel happy within, it's of no use. Those are just words that don't mean much in living. So, ultimately, when I'm able to understand the relationship, the harmony, the coexistence completely, understand completely means to be able to directly see all of this within myself. Then, on the basis of this, I will be able to decide the right feeling at this moment, next moment, every moment. See, if I, now for the body as a whole, nobody has to tell me, take care of this finger, take care of the toe, take care of the elbow. I see it all as one whole. No? And I take responsibility for the whole body. I don't see it as separate units. Why? Because through the gross eyes, it looks whole. It looks connected. But you have to see not through the gross eyes. You have to see directly within the self. Then you will be able to see the relationship with all. Then you will be able to see that you are not related only to the people at home. You are also related to or you have a relatedness with other human beings, with everyone. 
so you can now when you see that for yourself clearly then there is no doubt then nobody has to say that i have to have this feeling i should have this feeling for others also i don't have to say all that because i can see it and it comes very naturally in the flow that is how you want it to be not that we are trying to enforce it through our words as information certainly feeling is more subtle than thought and certainly sanskars our assumptions are more subtle than the thoughts but we have to try to directly observe and as we keep paying attention we will be able to see more and more initially we weren't able to see thoughts also then we could see thoughts we keep observing we will see feeling as we keep observing ultimately we will see sanskars also but we have to keep referring to the natural acceptor this part we all have to do so we'll stop here i've gone on and on but uh, thought it was important to clear those points that had been brought up we will uh, go back to step 7 tomorrow again meanwhile we'll reflect on all this that we have discussed and we will um, i'll put post an assignment on the group also